Hello, everyone. I almost forgot. I'm on my holiday, but I need to teach you. Okay, let me finish my birthday first. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about suffix. Have you ever heard the word suffix? Yes, but we will be specific talking about a suffix any. Okay, why do you need suffix any? Suffix ins is used as present participle, children, and sometimes as an independent noun or adjective. Independent noun or adjectives. Let's see how we perform suffix in. I have some rules following how to perform suffix in. For the first one, for most words, you just add in to the end of the verb. Let's see. Sing, speak, and cry. I will just add it, singing, speaking, and crying. You got it? Okay, you got it. Let's go to the second rule. For the second rule, for the verbs that end in E, take off the E and then add it. Let's see the verbs write and die. They both ends with E, so I will just cross E and then I add in, writing, and diving, cross E, add E, diving. Okay, you know, this is the picture. Now let's go to the second picture of words. For verbs that have a short vowel followed by one consonant, double the consonant and then add in. Look at the verbs tap and rub. They have short vowel tap, rub, tap, and up. What we are going to do? We will double the P and we will add in for tapping, and we will double the B and add in for rubbing. Those are the rules how you can form the suffix in. Okay, I suppose you understand. Let's recap why we need suffix in. We need suffix in because suffix in is used as present participle, children, and sometimes as an independent noun or adjective. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you understand. See you on the next video. Bye!